And welcome back into the 18th Annual Telethon for Hope. I'm Matt Pitta with Elisa Magnata with the Housing Assistance Corporation, the CEO. And of course, we are looking for your support throughout the program today as we raise funds, critical funds, for the mission of the Housing Assistance Corporation. On this segment, we would like to welcome our next two guests mm -hmm. to our beautiful holiday set. <laughs> yeah. um, Maggie Downey from the Cape Light Compact, the uh, longtime administrator for the Compact, and Meredith Miller, who is a senior analyst with the Compact as well. Maggie and Meredith, thanks for being here today. We appreciate it very much. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Great. Um, we're going to talk a little bit uh, today about the Cape Light Compact, how your role fits in with the housing issue, et cetera. And uh, for folks who aren't familiar, the Compact, of course, is a, is a nationally recognized energy award-winning award energy services organization that's operated by 21 towns now in the Cape, uh, the Vineyard, and out on Dukes County. And your mission is to serve about 200,000 customers uh, through the delivery of proven energy efficiency programs and also consumer advocacy and renewable competitive electricity supply. <laughs> It's a lot right there. It's a mouthful, <laughs> but you got it right. It's a mouthful, but you nailed it. <laughs> yeah. um, Maggie, tell me a little bit about that concept of energy efficiency and, and, and how it kind of ties in with the housing issue and, you know, it, where is there room for more improvement with our homes? Because that does help impact affordability uh, when you can really have an impact on those utility bills. Yes, so certainly glad to. So the Cape, as you just said, the Cape Light Compact runs the energy efficiency programs on the Cape and Vineyard. So er all of us pay into these, these funds every month when we pay our electric bill. Mm -hmm. So the, co the Compact offers a residential program, an income eligible program, and a commercial program. So for homeowners, in you, this is all about making your home to operate it, lower your energy costs, your overall electric bill, or ever, however you heat your home, as well as making you more comfortable. So the best thing to do is to call the Compact 800 number, 1-800-797-6699, um, and or we you know we're right here on the Cape, and schedule an app, or you can go online and schedule a home energy assessment where, and we have options now so because of the, uh, the pandemic, you can do a virtual audit mm -hmm. and then follow up with an in-person or you can have a technician come out and they will look at your home holistically. They'll look to see, do you need any additional insulation? Are your windows leaking? Uh, is your heating system functioning properly? Is it time to, uh, to upgrade that? Um, they'll also look at health and safety measures to make sure that your, everything, your airflow and air exchange is running properly. And the, what we use, what the, what the energy efficiency funds do, are provide incentives to homeowners on, to help lower the cost to implement things. So for insulation and air sealing, the Compact pays 70, so if you had a $5,000 insulation job, Compact funds pay 75% of the cost of that, oh, the homeowner pays 25% of yeah. that. And if you are income eligible, and all of this is spelled out on our website, I know mm -hmm. it can get kind of weedy, yeah, technical, <laughs> technical <laughs> but depending upon your income, you could, like if your income, anyone who is 80% or less than the state median income, there's right. no copay. You get 100% of the cost of the insulation measure. And it's really, and it's regardless of your, it's based on income. Mm -hmm. It's not based on your asset or where mm -hmm. you, the value of your home. It is really the opportunity to get a return on your investment. This is one program that right. I always say, you pay into it, but you can actually get your money back. Yeah, and then some, <laughs> even more so. Yeah. And, yeah. and you talked about technology. So you may remember when we first started these programs, I'm dating myself, 20 years ago, it was all about getting rid of <coughs> the incandescent light bulb that mm -hmm. Thomas Edison invented mm -hmm. yeah. you know, 200 years ago. And we had the squirrely CFLs. Well, that technology has evolved. Um, that lighting, people didn't like it. It was kind of bright. It made, you know, it was, they didn't like the, 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 mood, the um, temperature. Mm -hmm. So now we yeah. have LED lighting. Yeah. So the techno, even though you might have had a home energy assessment five, six years ago, it's great to call and just to affirm that there's nothing else you need to do because this technology right. is evolving consistently. The heating systems and the heating technology, how we heat and cool our homes now are all about um, air source heat pumps as opposed to window ACs or central right. AC pumps. So we've been talking about housing yeah. affordability, et cetera. Elisa, this is important. We're looking at energy bills. I just filled my oil tank at my house. So I don't even want to talk mm. about that right I now. Know. So if people can find a way to save some money on those utilities, it's going to help what you're doing. Yeah, well, it, it helps to save money and, and, and kind of, you know, shorten that gap of the affordability of, of the home. But it also helps the environment. I mean, really, honestly, anyone who cares about the environment cares about the, you know, the climate or, or climate mm -hmm. change, 
really should be calling to get an energy audit because it reduces the carbon footprint of that home and brings down the energy bill. So it's really it's really helping on two fronts. So Mer Meredith, how these programs we talked about, how do they kind of help add up uh, to you know the regional impact for homeowners here? Sure. If we're talking about the low income program in particular, right. um, in a given year we might serve 2,000 or 2,500 customers. Um, maybe a third of those are single family homeowners, the rest are in multifamily. And uh, we may have incur savings of 2 million kilowatt hours. If you think about wow. that, kilowatt hour is what you'd oh. use if you operated a thousand watt drill for an hour. Mm -hmm. So the annual savings from those measures in a given year we might serve might be in the range of 2 million kilowatt hours. So that's an awful lot of savings and then over time the impact um, goes on for, for years. So for these customers, we're serving them with the things Maggie talked about, mm -hmm. weatherization, um, but also new appliances. Yeah, new appliances is big. Some it's people huge. are just amazed. A new refrigerator, new air conditioning, I mean. And new um, and new clothes washers, and then we're also replacing heating systems. So for, in, for example, um, think about a customer who's, who desperately needs insulation in their home. It's never been updated but they've got a leaky roof and they can't afford to repair that roof. Part of what this program also does is we have a major repair budget. So if someone is eligible for insulation, mm -hmm. but they have a bad roof, we can repair that roof. We can also replace their knob and tube wiring. So things that keep customers, keep low income customers from being able to maintain their home and take advantage of energy efficiency, we can help with. And you've had some success stories. Oh gosh, I mean, think about people, think about the amount of worry that you not only get increased comfort mm -hmm. and decreased energy bills, but think about the amount of worry a customer can let go of if they've had a leaking roof. Yeah, their biggest asset, yes. right? They yep. can't figure out the, the hurdles to mm -hmm. get it fixed, to get it resolved. It kind of, it, going back to the conversation with Katie earlier, right, it's, it's embarrassing sometimes to have mm -hmm. to call and ask for help right. and Absolutely. to reach out. And I think it's really important, you're, these are your funds, so right. you, need get old, you, right, you need to get. It's your money. You need to get. Old, get the word right. out that it, you're not right. asking for help. You're actually getting a return on the investment you've been paying into point. for twenty yeah. for twenty years. It's a good and point. So yeah. people shouldn't feel that discomfort. Oh, well, I don't need it. These are your money. You need to. And, and as the, the purpose is to make mm -hmm. sure that we can reduce your energy burden, so that your dollars and your resources are freed up for other. Items Absolutely. important in your life, and it could be childcare if you're a young family. It could be uh, medication Medicine. if you're older. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, that's the goal of these programs: is to keep people in their homes, right. to make it affordable to stay in your home and to operate that home and to be comfortable in your home. And so, let's talk about landlords because mm -hmm. that's right. another group that mm -hmm. can really help the tenant and their own asset of mm -hmm. calling and getting the energy audit um, on their their rental property, Correct. right? So Absolutely. they can make it more affordable. Right, right now we're seeing the cost of rent just skyrocketing, mm -hmm. right? But a way Absolutely. to keep it, bring down the cost a little bit in, right. and the affordability is to have an energy audit. And not only that, but there is no cost for to the landlord for when it's a rental property for insulation and air That's sealing. Great. And we are in the next three year plan that we're in the middle of getting approved right now, there are going to be some really exciting, I'm excited, really <laughs> exciting, <laughs> everybody we're all set. exciting <laughs> programs for um, landlords that are low and moderate target lo that are for low and moderate income customers. Okay. So there will be additional resources to mm -hmm. replace those heating systems with a high efficiency heating system for the air sealing and insulation to again keep people comfortable and when bringing money to the table, Alyssa goes right to the point that you just said, mm -hmm. which is helping so that they don't have to raise rents to meet that capital right. cost yeah. because that's where we're bringing our energy efficiency funds to help bridge that gap. That, that cost. Yeah, and the, our conversation with Rob earlier about you know uh, climate change and the, mm -hmm. the intersection between climate change and energy efficiency and housing, we have to focus on new development, right? Of like making sure that the buildings we're building are net zero or you know it, as, as tight as possible. But mm -hmm. there's plenty that can be done with the existing housing Absolutely. stock, right? right? Yes. We all can participate in uh, you know in, in this effort. Maggie Downey and uh, Meredith Miller from the Cape Light Compact. We are out of time, unfortunately, oh. but uh, <laughs> flies by. Uh, more information, where can people get that more information? So information, um, Cape Light Compact's website, which is simply type in capelightcompact.org. Right. Right. It'll get us to our website. Call us at 800. 
797-6699. Stop by our offices. Um, we're there Monday to Friday Great. on White's Path in South Yarmouth, and we can help answer any questions that you have. Great. Thanks for being with us here thank on you. today. We appreciate it very yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to your staff fun. for all their hard work, oh, by yeah, the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good partnership That's here. great. It's yeah. a great yeah. team. Really it's a team. Perfect. All right. Uh, we continue with our 18th annual Telethon for Hope here at the Housing Assistance Corporation.